Okay, so in this XCOM 2 video, I'm going to go ahead and go over uh, the characters. Uh, you can actually pre-customize and <coughs> create new characters. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through all the create options, and I'm going to create a template, and I'm going to link this video to it. So if you want to be involved in any missions or in any streams, uh, we can go ahead and put custom-built characters in here. Um, so you can go ahead, the character info, um, you'll need a, a first name, a last name, and a nickname. The nickname's usually in the middle um, uh, of the thing. A biography, if you want to, this one isn't as a super high priority, but I do like custom backgrounds, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, uh, feel free to put out a background, uh, include that as well, uh, as well as nationalities. So here are all the different nationalities, and I'll go slowly through them um, alphabetically. I'm not going to read them all off, but you can definitely take a look at them. And I'm just going to slowly scroll down. So in addition to the first name, the last name, the nickname, uh, and a possible biography. The biography I will have as optional, but I would like to see it because I think that that'd be really cool because flavor is always awesome, especially because if I don't know very much about you, it'd be really cool to see how that is. Uh, anyway, here are all the nationalities. So then you will also tell me the nationality of the player uh, as well as gender, you know, obviously male or female. So with the male version, there he is. Um, after that, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, we can do props. Props are a whole slew of different things. Uh, so here are all the different helmets or hats that you have available. Um, and I will go ahead and go over each of them. Uh, so there is the nun, the, the ball cap, backwards cap, bandana. Um, I'm pretty sure I could select this and then rotate around so you can see. I'm not gonna. I'm just going to do kind of a sideways, otherwise this video will take forever. Uh, so let's go back through all the different things. So bandana, then there's the headband, the boonie hat, beanie, the dress hat, the recon hood, the shema, shemog scarf, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Delta One, so these are some of the all of the custom uh, character stuff from the previous XCOM game, uh, Delta Two, Delta Three, Delta Four, ooh I like that one, it's got a camera on it, that's kind of cool, uh, we've got Jason Voorhees, of course, I'm going to go ahead and turn this so you can see a little bit better, uh, then we've got the floppy bonnie, uh, the long hood, and a ski mask. So Counter-Strike terrorists away. Okay, on, in addition to that, we have different arm types. Arm types I'm not really important. Uh, you can fill them out if you want to. Uh, I usually do this based on what their class is, but if you have someone that's specifically you want it to be a certain way, I, I'll definitely keep that under consideration. I like the arms too because of the, the arm wraps. Um, here is arm three, which is a little bit more sleeveless with a little shoulder pad. Arm four, which is shoulder pads on both sides. And uh, arm five, which has uh, the glove on the one hand. After that, we've got legs. <clears throat> Only a few of them. So this is basically just art uh, armor decal. So there is leg zero. There's the one. Here's two. And here's three. After that, we've got torso. Uh, we've got the kind of light with the armor with the two straps going back like a backpack. Uh, this one's kind of more of like a little jacket uh, kind of feel feel to it. Uh, then we've got this one, uh, which gives a little bit more more padding, a little bit more solid. And then this one, which uh, has little side squares as well. Okay, after that we have the upper face prop. Uh, these are different things you can put on your face, such as aviators, sports sunglasses, dark sunglasses, hippie sunglasses, half-framed, thick-rimmed, hippie glasses, monocle, eye patch, eyebrow ring, earring, although that should be earrings since you have two of them, lip ring, nose ring, nose stud. So those are the ones that you can have on your face. Um, and we'll just leave it blank for now, <clears throat> so you can see. In fact, let me go ahead and get rid of the head, the head uh, just so you can see the hairstyles later on. Uh, and I'm going to put everything as the default zero, by the way, just for, for future reference. Uh, then we have lower face props. These can be things in your mouth, such as a cigarette, cigar, an XCOM bandana, a skull bandana, a biker bandana, and a striped bandana. After that, we have the armor pattern. Uh, armor pattern is also one of those things I'm not too important on the template, uh, but here is the nun, or nun, uh, digital, which reminds me of the old like Metal Gear Solid kind of uh, decor from the old PlayStation graphics because of how they looked. Uh, then we've got classic, we have alien, tundra, hex, arid, blots, 
classic and you can change the color of these guys too so you can make like arid look really nice cracked and peeling with a nice brown color uh happy zebra stride plaid tiger hearts dots stripes wild and shamog shamog i don't know if that's how you pronounce it i'm assuming that's how you pronounce it Okay, and then on top of that, you also have weapon patterns. Uh, same kind of thing, um, the, the same one as before. Uh, digital, we've got classic, we've got alien, we've got tundra. Let's go ahead and let's make it look a little bit more to the side. So again, that's digital, classic, alien, tundra, hex. And we've got arid, we've got blots, we've got classic two, happy, zebra, plaid, tiger. That doesn't quite seem like plaid on the weapon for some reason. Uh, then we've got the hearts, the dots, Stripes, Wild, and Shimog. Do that Shimog. Okay. okay, after that we've got face paint. Uh, so we've got none. Uh, we can also do an arid face paint. Um, that looks kind of cool. That doesn't really look arid. That kind of looks like watered down Braveheart. Uh, black eyes, uh, sharpshooter, and then a skull. That one's kind of cool. Uh, hopefully they add some more of these. Uh, I, I feel like there aren't that very many. Uh, but I do know that the custom pack, which comes out in a couple of months, will probably have some more. Uh, then we've got left arm tattoos. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and bear our arm so we can actually... Where's the ones that actually show the arms the best? Do that. And tattoos. So left arm. Okay. Is there any way to get rid of... There we go. So this will be the left one. So tattoos for the left arm. So here we go. Um, no tattoo. We've got chrysalid killer. Uh, so the chrysalid icon. Uh, we've got a berserker killer. The snake wrap. Oh, that one's kind of cool. And you can change the colors of these as well. Sliced silicoid or sectoid. The, the XCOM sleeve, eh, that's a bit heavy-handed. Uh, electric alien, that's kind of cool. Barcode, it's a very unusual barcode. Must be the barcode of the future. Uh, we've got death sleeve, uh, earth sleeve. Oh, that one's, uh, I kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. Reminds me of the memetics from the first game. Uh, Ace in the hole. <laughs> like the little spade. And shadow wolf, well, that's kind of cool. Foxhound. Okay, so that's tattoos for the left arm. For the right arm, let's go ahead and let's alter this, this thing again so I can get the maximum. Let me go back real quick. Is there... Oh, that's the skin color. Okay, so we'll still go back. <clears throat> right arm tattoo, let's see. Um, okay, so these are the exact same things, just on the other side. So, uh, if you've seen one, you've seen them both. Um, I'm not too sure if there's a better way to show them both, but I guess you could have the mirroring, um, or you could have author. Like, we have one have be a death sleeve, the other one be an earth sleeve, uh, or an XCOM. That'd be kind of interesting as well. Uh, so that is the tattoos, and then you can do tattoo colors. You can change. There are a multitude of colors, so please pick the number of the color you would like. Um, you could do by by color, but if you say purple, um, I'm probably going to pick up probably one of these three, because these three feel more like uh, purple. Um, this feels more like a lavender. But yeah, the, the numbers just go through. Um, let me go ahead and put on a tattoo so we can see what the colors look like. Uh, let's do left tattoo. Uh, let's do this one, because it's got... There we go. Okay, so here's the colors. Um, I'm not going to go over too many of them, but you can kind of see... Ugh. Some of them are really light. But anyway, here's the different colors you can have. Magenta and black. Um, I, I think it'll be too long to go through all of the colors. Uh, but if you see one, you could probably pause the video, but I'm not going to go through all of them just yet. Um, we can always guesstimate if you're really specific. And then scars. So we've got no scars. We've got half a face burn. That's kind of cool. We've got a cheek burn. Eye burn, face burn, temple sa uh, slash, a lobotomy almost, brow and cheek slash, that's a bit th further in, eye and cheek, lip slash, cheek slash, ear slash, maximum slash scars, so all of them probably, yeah, your face is all sorts of jacked up, brow stitch. Uh, 
Okay, I see it. It's right there. That's kind of cool. I really like how the stitches actually make it like really hard to see. Um, and then we've got the cheek stitch. And the cheek and brow stitch. Oh, I like that one. That one looks really good. That's actually some really good uh, plastic surgery, all things considered, of what it probably looked like. Cheek slash two. Lower cheek stitch. Lower lip stitch. Upper lip stitch. And maximum stitches. So that's what you look like after surgery and then before surgery. After surgery. Cool. So that is all the props that you can do. Uh, next after that you have the different faces. Uh, so here is the, the face A. And I will go through and show male and female versions um, if it's not too, too bad. So here is face number one, face B, face C, face D, face E, face F. She's like, yeah, pissed. Yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and change the gender to male. And face. So there's one face. Uh, let me go ahead and take off his glasses. I think they randomize everything. Let's do upper face. Just so you can kind of see it a bit better. Okay, so face, face A. Face A, face B. Ooh, that's a very tall head. Face C. Oh, he looks like a rookie. He looks like Gomer Pyre, Gomer Pyre, Pyle almost. Uh, face D, face E, and face F. And those are the faces for the guy. I probably do one at a time, so I'm going to go through the men section first, because otherwise facial hair uh, could take a, a long time. So let's go ahead and go through men's facial hair first. Uh, so here is none. Goatee. Chin curtain, goatee and mustache, thick beard, a horseshoe mustache, the regular mustache, the mutton chops, sideburns, mutton chops and stash, short sideburns, scruffy beard, sideburns and goatee. Some sideburns. It doesn't quite match his hair because because his hair looks gray and this looks black. But we'll go ahead and fix the colors in just a second. Five o'clock shadow. Oh, that's not too bad. Stubble goatee, short horseshoe mustache, short mass mustache, stubble mutton chops, stubble sideburns, and a scrappy beard. El jefe he is not happy. Okay, so that is uh, the different hairs. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of the facial hairs. Um, we'll just do mutton chops for now. Oops. I didn't give him a name either. So th it was the default name, so remember that as well. Uh, but let's do hair color. So all the different hair colors, of course. Uh, let's actually give him hair real quick. Oh, I missed the hair. How did I miss the hair? Oh, I apologize, everyone. Okay, so there's bald, long curls, nice luscious locks, uh, long layers, brushed up short, short, simple short, Slicked back ponytail, loose ponytail thick, loose ponytail, physics, uh, slicked back braid, loose braid, I can't quite see because the armor is cutting through it, uh, man bun, <laughs> buzz cut faded, buzz cut, buzz cut faded, oh okay I see it, up top. Uh, short curly, so kind of afro-ish, flat top, <laughs> receding hair medium, oh wow, uh, receding hair short, so really short hair, parted, afro, dreadlocks, oh, I like the dreadlocks, those are nice, nice dreadlocks, it doesn't feel like it's one big solid uh, polygon, uh, dreads ponytail, ooh, that's kind of nice. I like that one. Uh, cornrows. Not bad. I, I wonder if they're going to clean up those in between. Um, wild dreadlocks. Ooh. I like those. Those are nice. Wild dreadhawks with the dreads with the ponytail. Spiky mohawk. Nice. Regular mohawk. 
spiky. Oh, that's cool. And blowout. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just pick dreadlocks for now, just for randomness. Uh, so the different uh, hair colors again. Uh, so we've got browns, we've got some blacks. I'm not going to go over all the colors, I'm just going to go ahead and go through all of them. Uh, just because hair color is a little bit more important, um, as opposed to uh, armor. So I'm just going to go through these, and there's only 26 of them, as opposed to the tons and tons as before. Okay, so I kind of wish that there was a little bit more of a gray, but that's okay. I guess... I kind of wish that there was an in-between this and that. Okay, so that's the hair colors, uh, and the different uh, ethnic races. It's a white. I think there's also something else over it. And different colors. Uh, and then you have the skin colors. I don't think this will change. Uh, actually, you know what? I think this will change based on your race. So race zero with skin color. Okay, so this is the same. So different pigments within. Okay. So let's do that. And then, so I would assume that that's probably different for each. Okay, so it's basically how dark you want it to be. So I'll go over all of them, I guess, because that actually has a little bit more. So race two, skin colors from light to dark. And the last. Okay, and that is, I believe, all the male stuff. Uh, let's go through the females, and I'll go briefly over the secondary armor color and the weapon color. Um, Oh, and then there's going to be lots of voice. Oh, crap. There's a lot more on this. Okay, so. Voice. Uh, let's go ahead and go through all the voices. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually... No. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'll leave this in the same video for, for now. Uh, so that I can upload this so that I can get more people to contribute. Um, secondary armor color, it's exactly how it says. Uh, it's basically your pants. Uh, so you can choose a top color and a bottom color. I'm just going to briefly go over everything. Uh, if we're playing and I happen to pick one of your characters and you want to change it slightly, you can do so. Um, but I'm not going to spend too much time. Uh, otherwise, this video will be like an hour long. So that's the secondary color. The main color is the same thing up just up top. So same options as before. Seems like the really bright stuff is down below. Some nice black armor. Uh, same thing with the weapon. Weapons have the same color scheme as before. Yep, so just like the weapon's armor, they all go up to the 96. So you can go ahead and mix, mix match. Uh, so that would get paired up with the decals. Uh, then after that, we have voices. So there are a ton of voices. I, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and preview each one twice and then go through the list because there are a crap load of these. Uh, so go ahead and then put in what voice you would like as well. On the move! Copy that. Got it. Good to go. Got it. Location confirmed. 10-4. On the move. Double time. Got it. Location confirmed. On it. Getting it done. Move, move, move. Moving out. Move, move, move. Moving out. Location confirmed. Running. Got it. Go, go, go. Copy that. Getting it done. Okay, I'm gonna do three each time because th that one did. I, I, you couldn't really get anything from it afterwards. Double time, on the move. Already there. Got it. Running. Go, go, go. On it. Move, move, move. Getting it done. Got it. Got it. Moving. Rolling out. Oh, that's fast. Sorry, this is a very hypersensitive mouse wheel for some reason. On the move! Double time! Move, move, move! Already there. Same four. Location confirmed. Oh, I like the Australian ones. Jiku! Reçu 5 sur 5. Bien reçu. Compris. Allez, allez, allez! Bien reçu. 
Je m'en charge. Allez, on bouge Je confirme la position. J'y suis déjà. J'y cours. D'accord Affirmatif. Bien compris. Allez, on bouge D'accord. J'y suis déjà. Allez, on bouge C'est tout bon. Je m'en occupe. J'y vais. Pas besoin de demander deux fois. D'accord. Je suis sur le coup. Compris, j'y vais. Bien reçu. Ok, je bouge. C'est tout bon. Compris, j'y vais. J'y suis déjà. So many voices this time around. Bin schon dabei. Tempo. Rückaus. Das lasse ich mir nicht zweimal sagen. Verstanden. Wird gemacht. Wird erledigt. Rückaus. Das lasse ich mir nicht zweimal sagen. Okay, bin unterwegs. Bestätigt. Bewegung, Bewegung! Position bestätigt. Los geht's. Bin unterwegs. In Ordnung. Position bestätigt. Bewegung, Bewegung! Okay. Schon unterwegs. Bin unterwegs. Okay. Sprote los. Wird gemacht. Bin unterwegs. Los geht's. Tempo. Sporte los. Bin unterwegs. Los geht's. Ci penso io. Eseguo. Mi muovo. Corro. Bene. Vado. Scatto. Ci penso io. Ricevuto. Posizione confermata. Su, su, su! Io ci sono. Si può fare. Eseguo. Via, via, via! Corro. Molto bene. Scatto. Bene. Ricevuto. Via, via, via! Ricevuto. Corro. Scatto. Ok. Agli ordini. Via, via, via! Su, su, su! Roger! Agli ordini! Recibido. Ajá, me muevo. Enseguida. De acuerdo. Queda claro. Yo me encargo. Ya me ocupo. Voy a ello. A la orden. Bien. No hace falta repetirlo. Venga, vamos, vamos. Yo me encargo. Ajá, me muevo. Eso haré. Voy. Ajá, me muevo. Enseguida. Voy a ello. Ubicación confirmada. De acuerdo. Allí voy. Recibido. No hace falta repetirlo. Ya me ocupo. Queda claro. No hace falta repetirlo. Ya estoy. Enseguida. Allá voy. Okay, so those are the male voices. So go ahead and pick yeah, one of those as well. Most okay, she confirmed. Now. Uh, then you have also have attitude. This is basically how they say their lines as well as their kind of stance and look. So by the book, we've got laid back, we've got normal, we've got twitchy. <laughs> Happy go lucky. It's like, yeah, man, I got this. Don't worry. Hard luck. So it's like, ugh. Then we have intense. Try hard. Okay, so then you choose your attitude. Uh, then you can choose your soldier class. So uh, you can be random, which means you can always be picked randomly. Um, or uh, you'll always be a ranger, you'll always be a sharpshooter, you'll always be a grenadier. I believe that's how this works. I'm not 100% sure. This might just be how they actually look in the game, because I think that this doesn't bypass the other stuff. Otherwise, you could pick and choose what your characters are uh, to begin with. I believe that this is just how you look with your gear. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and look over all of them. So as a rookie, this is what you would look like. Uh, then we have the, the, the different classes, which is Ranger. Um, I'm actually going to skip over this because this is not important. Um, I wouldn't worry this because I'm going to put them always as um, random, I would assume. 
Uh, and then you can choose what you want to be. You can appear as a soldier, as a VIP, or as a dark VIP. Now, a dark VIP means that you're not going to have, obviously, the weapons and armor, same thing with the regular VIP, but you'll still have the, the demeanor, the voice, and all that kind of stuff. So VIPs are people we rescue. Dark VIPs are people that we kidnap or assassinate. Uh, so you can be all three, uh, you know. I believe that once you're found as a VIP, that excludes you from that run of soldier or dark VIP. Um, so if you put it all three, you'll show up uh, as any of those three. If you only want to be in the soldier rosters, uh, you can go from there. And this just tells you what it's created. I don't really care about that. Uh, so there is the completion. So for, for the guys, uh, remember, uh, what I would like for the template is uh, first, last, n and nickname. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's say uh, we'll go over this. So let's say your name is Bob Hope. And your nickname is Fortune. Apparently I can't type right today. So it will be Bob Fortune Hope. Uh, so this will be kind of what gets showed up. Um, I wish I could kind of show you an introduction, um, but you'll, you'll, you'll kind of see, see how it works. Uh, the biography is optional. I would love to have it there in the game, uh, but if not, I, I, I won't worry too much about it. Uh, then your nationality. Uh, your nationality determines which flags uh, they fly. Uh, once again, all of those flags. I'll actually go briefly. Oh, you know what the flags are. I mean, like, if, if you don't, don't know what any of these, because we already went over them, but it does change the flag uh, on your outfit. Uh, then, of course, gender, uh, male or female. We'll go over the females in just a moment. Uh, then your props. Uh, you do have a helmet or a hat. Uh, all of this will be filled out. Uh, you can skip the colors if you really want to, because um, I might just randomize that. If so, uh, put in the colors as well. Uh, but all of this would be filled out. Uh, after that, then you pick the face that you want, the hair, the facial hair, the hair color, um, eye color. We did not go over eye color. Um, so here we go. I'll go ahead and do eyes really quick. So then, uh, then your hair color, your eye color, uh, what race, what skin color of that race, uh, the main armor color, the secondary armor color, the weapon color if need be. Honestly, the weapon color I'm going to make is optional. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, unless you do, of course, because this is going to be your character. Uh, then the voice, uh, what attitude. Uh, soldier class, just ignore that for now. And then just let me know if you want to be soldier, VIP, dark VIP. You can be all three. You can be two of them. You can be one of them. Uh, but you do have to be one of them because I don't think you can be not anything. I guess I don't know maybe that's for something else uh, so that is the male so we will go ahead and quickly go uh, to a female character and go over everything that we just went over with uh, with the hair and all that kind of stuff um, so we're not going to worry about props and uh, face uh, because those uh, oh sorry we'll go over face but we won't go over props because we already did that um, we already did the faces for the female but I'm going to go ahead and go over it one more time so we'll go ahead and pick face E for now then we've got the hair. Uh, looks like that they kind of have the kind of the same. Obviously, the guy doesn't have long straight on the fangs. Long and wavy. Pixie cut. My wife always makes fun of me because I hate it when she gets pixie cuts. I don't like short hair on, uh, on her. I think she just does it because it's less effort to take care of. <laughs> the bun. Faux ha paint, faux faux ha ponytail. Got the little foof up the top, ponytail with bangs, dirty ponytail. So a little bit more loose. Uh, looks like uh, uh, layered. Uh, dirty ponytail with ponytail or with bangs. Uh, we've got a loose bun. So a little bit tighter. So there's this loose bun and regular bun. So it's just kind of a little bit more more hair. Uh, then we've got, oh, hold on, Where, oh my gosh, okay, dirty bangs and a bun. Figured that there'd be a lot more, just a dirty braid, a lot more hairstyles for the females. So we've got the braid, we've got a knitting needle bun, well, that's kind of cool. Uh, we've got the bob, we've got the shaved faux hawk, the half shaved underneath. This is a popular trend these days. We've got punk fire fire hair um, then we've got close crop kind of like very 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 short uh, afro uh, buzz cut with a fade and then here's just a buzz cut we've got 
flat top. We've got Afro. We've got Dreadlocks, very similar to the other guys. Uh, Dread Cornetail. Cornrows. This one's a little bit cleaner, but they still got kind of stuff in between. I'm not a big fan of that. I guess it's to kind of emulate that there's a little bit of hair there. I don't know. Hopefully they'll fix that, though. Uh, wild Dreadlocks. Wild Dreadlocks with Ponytail. Spiky Mohawk. Got the Spiky Mohawk there. The regular Mohawk. The Viking. And the Blowout. Okay, so that is the female hairstyle. So we'll just go ahead and pick one. Let's go ahead and pick uh, Ponytail. Uh, then we've got the different hair colors. Once again, same as the guys. I'll just go over them briefly. Sorry. And I apologize if you need to pause the video. I just don't want to make this a super long video. So feel free to pause it at any time to see these. Or you can slow uh, the YouTube speed down by like 75% and just make it really, really slow. So we're just going to go ahead and choose purple hair for her for now. Uh, then we have the eye colors, same as the gentleman, I would assume. Well, that blue one worked. It looks really cool on her. I was thinking about the red one. Or even the green one, but this blue one... I'm sold on that. Okay, here's the different races for the females. Okay, so I'm also going to go through race and skin color at the same time since they're mutual. Okay, so I'm going to just pick zero so that's what it defaults to. Oops. Not you. Skin color. Okay. Can you zoom in? No. Apparently the mouse wheel spins. Okay, that's race zero. Race one. Race two. So when you tell me the races, make sure you also let me know what pigment you would like for them as well. I'm going to skip over the main and secondary armor and weapon color because it is the same as the guys. It does not make any difference. Uh, so all of those are the same, so I'm going to skip over them. So let's go ahead and go over the voices really, really quick. I'll do three again this time. Got it. Moving. Get it done. On the move. Copy that. Got it. Solid copy. Location confirmed. Stepping off. Rolling out. Will do. Move, move, move. Copy that. Running. Already there. Solid copy. Stepping off. Getting it done. I'm all over it. Got it covered. Roger that. On it. Location confirmed. Running. Will do. Solid copy. Roger that. Double time. Solid copy. I'm all over it. Copy that. Got it covered. Got it. Double time. Stepping off. Getting it done. Running. Copy that. I'm all over it. Moving out. Moving out. Stepping off. Got it. Moving. Location confirmed. Double time. Copy that. Running. On the move. Got it. Moving. Roger that. OK, je bouge. Bien compris. Je suis sur le coup. C'est tout bon. Compris. OK, je bouge. Reçu 5 sur 5. Je fonce. Compris, j'y vais. Tout de suite. D'accord. C'est tout bon. J'y cours. Je m'en charge. J'y vais. Affirmatif. Je m'en occupe. Je fonce. Bien reçu, je bouge. Je suis sur le coup. Bien reçu. Tout de suite. Je m'en charge. C'est parti. C'est tout bon. Compris, j'y vais. D'accord. J'y suis déjà. Compris. J'y cours. 
bestätigt. Position bestätigt. Verstanden. Bin dabei. Wird erledigt. Alles klar. Los geht's. Jawohl. Bin schon dabei. Los, los, los. Wird erledigt. Los geht's. Alles klar. Und ab geht's. Position bestätigt. Bin unterwegs. Wird gemacht. Okay. Wird gemacht. Position bestätigt. Alles klar. Jawohl. Wird gemacht. Los geht's. Wird erledigt. Bin schon dabei. Jawohl. Und ab geht's. Bin schon dabei. Bin unterwegs. Forte chiaro. Corro. Si può fare. Agli ordini. Su, su, su. Si può fare. D'accordo. Ci penso io. Scatto. Forte chiaro. Scatto. Via, via, via. Scatto. Roger. Mi muovo. Ok. Sono già lì. Si può fare. Molto bene. Eseguo. Scatto. Affermativo. Corro. So, so, so. In movimento. Mi muovo. D'accordo. Ok, mi muovo. Scatto. Vado. Queda claro. Voy a ello. Vamos, vamos. Enseguida. Eso haré. Vamos, vamos. Voy a ello. En marcha. Eso haré. A la orden. Allá voy. Eso haré. Allá voy. Yo me encargo. Vamos, vamos. Venga, vamos, vamos. A la orden. Vamos, vamos. Ajá, me muevo. Paso ligero. En marcha. Allá voy. Ya estoy. A la orden. Allá voy. Ubicación confirmada. Venga, vamos, vamos. Enseguida. Paso ligero. Corriendo. <clears throat> and those are the voices and now to the attitude so here we go by the book here's our laid back our normal twitchy and someone who fidgets around a bit more happy go lucky just like yeah man everything's cool hard luck just uh my life it's like a almost a depressed and then we have intense try hard mode the elite of the elite Okay, and uh, again, soldier class doesn't matter. Uh, and again, you can appear as soldier, VIP, dark VIP. You can choose uh, any of those three. Uh, feel free to use all three, one, two, or however denomination you want. Uh, once this is created, if I ever do see a character commit submit, I will always go through here and you can kind of look around and I'll test your voice out and we'll look here and we'll kind of just twirl you around. Uh, and we'll kind of see if that's exactly what you want so you can fine-tune details. Uh, just remember, um, I will be posting the template down below in the video. Um, after that, uh, go ahead and just uh, put it... If you want to, you can send it directly as a message through my YouTube channel. You can message me and then fill out the template there. Or you can actually post it on the web, uh, on the actual video itself. Uh, depending on how fast I get comments, I will try my best. If it, comes, like I, if I if it looks like I get too many of them, I will try and find a different way to do it. But I think putting it in the comments should be okay for now. Uh, and this is if you want to be a part of the custom XCOM experience. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I apologize if the video was so long. Uh, I will try and truncate it if necessary. And I I will add because I do know that they're going to come with a reinforcement pack sometime in the spring with uh, extra kind of uh, fluff as well as most likely face paints and things like that. Uh, I just wanted to check out the face paints. I'm almost 100% positive that they're the same as male and female. Yeah, it's the same. So, yeah, so you, you can probably fi figure it out. I like the sharpshooter one, that's really cool. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see those characters of yours on the battlefield. Talk to you later.